uh, that would have led the House uh, to understand that they are um, sort of divided in this report uh, because uh, at the beginning the report indicated or rather shows that it was signed by all the 11 members who were agreeing to the impeachment even though five of the members voted no to the impeachment and six of them uh, voted yes to the impeachment. Other issues that uh, came up include the position that was taken by different members uh, with some indicating that uh, this uh, particular situation uh, should fall on the uh, hands of uh, the governor and not the deputy governor if there were any issues on the procurement, if there were any issues uh, that uh, are said to have been uh, abuse of office or uh, gross misconduct within the county government, then should uh, have been taken upon by the uh, governor, perhaps to even raise the alarm to the ethics and anti-corruption body uh, to alert them and have them do an audit on all these uh, as uh, members indicate that the uh, deputy governor uh, is, whatever is happening to the deputy governor is a witch hunt. And if there are any cases uh, that um, uh, detail whatever is happening in the county, then should have been taken up much earlier by the governor and alert the anti-corrupt body to come and uh, handle the issue. But members being divided yet indicated that the deputy governor in the in the report well um appearing before the committee agreed to have uh, interfered or attempted to interfere uh with the procure procurement process which has actually been the basis of the gross uh, misconduct that members have uh, uh, been quoting in uh, uh, this uh, debate uh, with some indicating that if uh, there has uh, been such allegation and uh, that has been substantiated uh, then uh, he is facing an interference with procurement and then that is a charge that should you know send him home and that there should be no further debate on that but again uh, uh, as members have been calling it uh, that the impeachment process is political and yet there is uh, the constitutional aspect of it that legal frameworks have uh, to be followed and uh, that is basically what has been happening uh, throughout uh, since uh, members came back after uh, deliberating or interacting with the report that was submitted uh, by the committee that was mandated to investigate the allegations that were leveled against the deputy governor of CIA accounting. Each member had five minutes uh, to give out uh, their opinions or to share their views on that uh, particular report. Before this division bell, the deputy governor was given a chance to be heard and uh, using his uh, legal team, two members who were representing him in the legal team, Moses Chelanga and Patrick Baraza, also stood to defend uh, the deputy governor. Well, let's listen in to the uh, speaker. Senator Seki, kindly take your seat. Sergeant Tatams, kindly close the doors and proceed to draw the bar. Senator Kajuang. Honorable members, I now proceed to put the question. Senator Professor Tom Ogenda, you're out of order. Have a seat. Take your seat. That whereas pursuant to Article 181 of the Constitution, 
and Section 33 of the County Governments Act, on 8th June 2023, the County Assembly of Siaya approved a motion to remove from office by impeachment of Honorable William Oduol, the Deputy Governor of Siaya County. And whereas, by a letter reference CASA DM stroke 33 stroke 04, dated Friday 9th June 2023, and received in the office of the Speaker of the Senate on Saturday 10th June 2023, the Speaker of the County Assembly of Siaya conveyed the resolution of the County Assembly removing from office by impeachment of Honorable William Oduol, the Deputy Governor of Siaya County, and further forwarded to the Speaker of the Senate documents in evidence of the proceedings of the Assembly. And whereas pursuant to Section 33.3b of the County Governments Act and Standing Order 81b, the Senate, by resolution, on Thursday 15th June 2023, appointed a special committee comprising 11 of its members to investigate the matter on the proposed removal from office by impeachment of Honorable William Oduol, the Deputy Governor of Siaya County, and to report to the Senate within 10 days of its appointment on whether it finds the particulars of allegations to have been substantiated. Further, whereas pursuant to Section 33.4 of the County Governments Act and Standing Order 82, the Special Committee has investigated the matter and tabled its report today, Monday, 26th, June 2023. And whereas pursuant to Section 33.4, and 6B of the County Governments Act, and Standing Order 84B, the Special Committee has found that the particulars of one, Charge 1, gross violation of the Constitution and other laws, and Charge 2, abuse of office and gross misconduct, have been substantiated. Now, therefore, pursuant to Section 336B of the County Governments Act, and Standing Order 84 B, the Senate, after according the Honorable William Oduol, the Deputy Governor of Siaya County, an opportunity to be heard, resolves to impeach Honorable William Oduol, the Deputy Governor of Siaya County, on the following charges. Charge 1, gross violation of the Constitution and other laws, and Charge 2, abuse of office and gross misconduct. Now, Honorable Members, this is a hybrid session and therefore voting will also be hybrid. For those members are present in the chamber, we will proceed to vote electronically. And for those who are online, they'll also have a chance to vote. Before we proceed with the actual voting, honorable members, kindly remove or log out. And the sergeant at arms, kindly take all the cards remaining in the delegate units. Sergeant at arms, kindly proceed to pick all the cards that are still remaining in the delegate units after the senators have pulled out theirs. Sergeant Atoms, we are waiting for your confirmation that indeed the remaining cards have been removed from the delegates' units. Are we done, Sergeant Atoms? Now, honorable members, kindly proceed to log back into the delegate unit. Proceed to log back. Senator Mogheni, kindly proceed. And Senator Mtata, kindly. Senator Montet, also proceed to take your chair. Honorable members, do I have your confirmation that you have logged back? Do we have that confirmation? Yes. Now, yes. 
Now, honorable members, Senator Boni. Now, honorable senators, proceed to vote by either pressing yes, no, or abstain. Now, we are going to vote per charge. So I will read the charge, you proceed to vote, and we get the results that will be recorded. And then, after that, we proceed to charge number two. So I'll proceed to read charge number one. Gross violation of the Constitution and other laws. Proceed to vote on that charge. Honorable Senators, Senator Churangay, the session is still on. Can I have your silence, honorable members? Can I have your silence? There are three senators who are appearing online. So I need your silence as I call out the names so that they can proceed to vote online. Senator Ledama, proceed to vote. I vote yes. Thank you. Honorable Senators, can I have your silence, please? Yes. Senator Kathuri, yes. proceed to vote. Yes. Can I have your silence, Senators? Senator Kathuri, proceed to vote, please. Yes. Uh, Clark, can you look at the system, please? We cannot hear the Deputy Speaker. We cannot hear him. If you cannot hear him, uh, Clark, can you let him write on a sheet of paper so that he can show it on the screen? No, we are not, we are not lip readers here. Clark? So we will move to Mungatana, Senator Mungatana. We will come back to you, Senator Kathuri. Senator Mungatana, kindly proceed to vote. Mr. Speaker, can you hear me? Yes. Mr. Speaker, greetings from Sierra Leone. I vote no. Thank you. Now, now, now let's go back to Senator Kathuri. Have you fixed the system? Clark, has the system been fixed? Senator Kathuri, proceed to vote. Clark. <laughs> Senator, can I have your silence so that we communicate with Senator Kathuri wherever he is? Now, Senator Kathuri, we cannot hear you, but I believe you can hear the chair. 
kindly proceed to take a blank we sheet of paper. Well Wonderful. So proceed to vote. We can hear you now. Honorable Speaker, I vote no. Senator Mofaya Gataya, proceed to come and vote. Uh, honorable Senators, Senator Chirangay, you understand the standing orders and what they provide when you're in the chamber. Kindly uphold the standing orders. Honorable Senators, you know the standing orders have not been suspended. This session is live and the standing orders remain in force. Senator Cheptumu, you can share those pictures later. Now, Honorable Senators, these are the results of the division on charge number one. The eyes 16, nays 27, abstention zero. So the nays have it. Now, honorable senators will proceed on a division on the second charge, which is abuse of office and gross misconduct. Senators, kindly log in, if you've not logged in, and proceed to press yes, no, or abstain. Senator Methu, Senator Chimera, Senator Cherangi, you're becoming notorious. Now, honorable members, can I have your silence to allow the three senators who are online to also make their voice heard on this division? Senator Ledama, proceed 
to vote? Mr. Speaker, I vote yes. Senator Kathuri, proceed to vote. Mr. Speaker, I vote no. Senator Mungatana, kindly proceed to vote. Mr. Speaker, I vote no. Now, honorable senators, on the second charge, these are the results of your division. Eyes, 16. Nose, 27. Abstention, 0. So the nays have it. Sergeant Atams, you may proceed to open the doors and draw the bar. Now, honorable senators, the net effect of these votes is that pursuant to Article 181 of the Constitution, Section 33.8 of the County Government Act, and Standing Order 87 of the Senate Standing Orders, the Senate has failed to remove from office by impeachment Honorable William O'Doul, the Deputy Governor of Siaya County. and that the Deputy Governor accordingly continues to hold office. <laughs> Honorable Senators, there being no other business on the order paper, the Senate stands adjourned until tomorrow, Tuesday 27 June 2023 at 2.30 p.m.